Well, 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 stories are being resurfaced when it comes to the Middleton Empire. Recently, I did a video about how the Middleton Empire crumbled. If you have not seen that video, please do, because we look at each one of the Middleton family members, how they failed when it comes to their businesses. But an article has resurfaced via the Mail Online about how police discover massive cannabis factories in pretty Berkshire Village, where Kate Middleton's parents, Michael and Carol, live. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And let's get straight into this mess of a situation. This has been resurfaced from 2020, four years ago. Power cut led to police finding of a huge cannabis factory during the sprawling raids that take place at the Berkshire estate belonging to Kate Middleton's parents. Police officers were joined by a fleet of lorries on Thursday after the illegal farm was discovered in a barn in Buckleberry. The Duchess of Cambridge's parents, Michael and Carol Middleton, live in nearby Buckleberry Manor, a mansion with an 18-acre estate. Police following a power outage on Wednesday, which led to an investigation by the electricity board, when workers discovered the farm on Thursday morning, the police were called. Onlookers say six lorries joined police at the farm and began loading up with the contents inside the large green barn. A witness said that the police arrived after the electric board had been at the property all morning, trying to work out why the electrics had blown. The electric board left and the police arrived shortly. The barns were swarming with police cars and officers monitored the property. By Friday morning, more police had arrived with the fleet of lorries. There were massive vans and lorries clearing and it was shock to everybody in terms of the neighbours. A spokesperson for Thames Valley Police said on Thursday officers attended a farm building in Bucklebury to report of a potential cannabis factory. So evidently somebody ratted them out. Officers found some equipment to suggest that cannabis had been cultivated in the farm building. Officers are making ongoing inquiries and anyone with information should call 101. No arrests were made when it comes to the investigation. Now for the fact that Carol and you know Kate um, and Michael more so Michael, Michael and Carol, the parents, were not blamed for this. I just find it to be absolutely hilarious. Because we know if Meghan Markle's parents and there was an invasion and raiding and they found cannabis factories and farms near to where they lived, they would have been blamed all over the damn headlines. We just know how this game works. But this is what I find to be interesting. Is this what really Carol was selling when it comes to a party's business and whatever took place? And for the fact that her businesses, you know, fell through and collapsed, crumbled, and that so many other small businesses lost money, she couldn't pay them back creditors loans debts and there was a way that that needed to be repaid or a way to clean money out for the fact that police found significantly large forms of massive cannabis factories in this pretty Berkshire village right by where they are to me it just seems too coincidental I'm not accusing them because as of right now and for the last four years it's an alleged accusation it's not I'm saying it's factual but at the same time I do think that this is just interesting it's too coincidental to me and for the fact that their um, company, their businesses, Pippa, James, you know, Michael, Carol, all of their businesses failed miserably. They had significant large portions of debt. Creating and selling cannabis, you can obviously make a lot of money and also clean, clean a lot of your money as well. Was that party business a front? A fake because how her party business came about she said was that she was making birthday cards or something and she couldn't find some birthday related thing for Kate that I don't know if that really springs to mind as a business idea perhaps it did in the 1990s and then foiled through in the early 2000s and perhaps this was a either a a desperate attempt to return money to those that she owes B the fact that this is what she was they were really selling and you know all alleged and the fact that parties business or whatever it was called is all fake Oh, see, this cannabis farm has nothing to do with them and just was by somebody else and it was pure coincidence. Take of this what you will. Comment down below. Maybe you guys know more about the story that I am letting on. And if you guys do, please do comment about what your thoughts are on this. But this has been resurfaced. It's an old conversation. And with the Middletons and everybody looking at them now and their family, they might be a threat to the royal family when it comes to their billion dollar empire. Because Kate has expedited this untrustworthy source because she's been thrown under the bus. That's not what the family wanted to be seen. Subscribe to the channel, click that button guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, 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 and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.